Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet, and yes guys, my mission in Kajinori is over, but I will be returning to it shortly. I have to, there's been a lot going on life-wise, guys, real life has kind of sucked, but I'm going to do the best that I can do to get back, and that means I'm going to end up having to get in. The other DLC and when I do I will come back but for now we're going to go ahead and continue with some of the missions that we have available to us and getting all of the species in different locations completed as well and basically as we go now so far I only have one mission in the Everglades left that's the Everglades trial mission and we're going to go ahead and take care of that one, get that one out. All we have to do is get a tarpon. No big deal. And as far as we can see here, that's one of the species we also have to get to complete that. There's quite a few others, but that is going to set it off. And we might be able to get some of these others while we're here. So let's go ahead, head over here to the Salty Delta. It is a peak period. So we should get lucky with this. Now, let me see if I remember correctly. These guys really, really like to go for minnows. Now, let me make sure of that. Yep, large minnows, shrimp, crawfish cuts. Now we have scaled sardines, which we can use. And they can do they do go for other things like bullet spinners, spinner baits. But let's just go with shiners or large minnows, because that's what we've had more luck with in the past than just about anything else. I'm glad they updated what they prefer now. Yeah, I do need to add tackle to this to complete it. But I wanted to make sure I had the right size hooks in order to make this work. Pro might even go with a C hook, small one. I would say a curved hook, 8 aught would work. I think we're going to go ahead and use a larger bobber though. We're not going to use one of the C bobbers. And we're going to, like I said, I think we might even use the scaled sardines. See how those do. I've never tried them with these guys, but I do remember it doesn't have to be very deep. And I've usually gotten them right over here. Now, the last of these I've caught were actually an event form of tarpon, but that didn't count. There we go, we got it. And let's see what it is. It could be one, it could be something else too. Might be a number of species to go for this. Yeah, I was afraid it might have been a common snook. So an 8 odd hook is going to work. Darn common snook. <laughs> I 
Actually, I might throw that over there closer to that tree. I don't know about you, but it looks like it zooms in more than it used to. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but... Certainly seems that way. All right, I think it's going to go for it. Yep, there it is. Now, this is decidedly bigger than that common snook. Yeah, I think this rod goes to maybe 69 pound test. Mm. I have to look at it, but yeah, I think we might have our tarpon this time. No? A trophy common snook. God bless it. <laughs> it figures. Okay, so you guys are going to make this t a little tougher on me, huh? Fine. We can play this little game. Now we're going to fish off the bottom here, too. I think we'll save ourselves some time here. But we are going to have to change our hook sizes. I see uh, here I've got a 4 out. Like I said, I think these heavier sea rods are going to be more of a guarantee. I'm going to do that with all these. And for this one... I think for this one we're gonna we might try crab. Yeah, let's try crab. They go for crab. We know they go for minnows. I'm not sure if I have minnows in here. I might still have all the sea stuff. Which is not a big deal. I'm not sure why I have an Araku minnow there. <laughs> but they do go for shrimp. And gold shrimp. So let's try a gold shrimp. And on this one, let's see. We've got. That's regular shrimp. And on this one. Wait a minute. What else do they go for? Shrimp, crawfish, good dragons, crabs, scaled sardines. Hmm. We'll just go with scaled sardines for that one, too. Alright, we know these guys like to hang around in this area. put scaled sardines on this one as well. I think I might put this one a little further over this way. Third one. Third one. Grab the wrong one. Let's see what we got here. I think it's another snook. I am catching snook at the wazoo. <laughs> landing net guru. Catch a certain number of fish using a landing net. Hey, I'll take that. <laughs> what the hey?
All right. All right, we're getting a bite on the fourth one. Let's see what this is. This is off of regular shrimps. Is it another snook? It is indeed. <laughs> what is with the snook? And something does keep going after the shiner, but it just just isn't latching on. Again, same one. Same bad time, same bad channel. Probably the same dog and gone species. Yep, it is. Let me take a look at our peak period here. Yeah, I've always got them more close to the later night time. I don't know if I can fast forward or not. I can. I think we're going to have more luck at this time of day getting these guys. Come on, let's see what it is. You know, there you go. That's more like it. Okay, I think we we might still have another stoke. <clears throat> it's a big one though. It's a trophy. Another trophy. God, they just seem to be right here. <laughs> Come on, take it down. There you go. Okay, this is not a tarpon. This is not anywhere close to big enough. Yep, another snook. I'm going to try a couple of spots I know I've gotten them in the past. Seems like the snook are hanging around those twigs now. That was where the tarpon used to be caught. All right, we got us a bite here. It's, it is the one I placed, I think. Nope, nope. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got a... Got one that's pushing the heck out of our leader there. This might be what we're after, guys. Yep, I think this might be what we're after. Either that or it's a really big snook. It is a really big snook. <laughs> a unique. Good lord. I have caught the 
Dickens out of the snook. Hey, unique snook. That's not a bad catch, guys. Not bad at all. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm not even. Sh I don't even think I had this on my list yet. So at least we'll get a picture of it. Not sure what the heck happened. <laughs> Maybe we gotta come back at night. I don't know. A lot of the old ways don't work. But I have not gotten any bites off of any of these other baits, really. Crab has not been touched. I'm going to try throwing them in new locations. So I think I've got that one right over there. Let's try throwing this one right here. I know they. Let's make this a shiner as well. Let's take the hook says down a touch. Let's try over here. See if maybe we get one to bite on this side of things. There we go. Oh, now we got two of them at the same time. Okay, this is probably not... It's probably another snook. It is. No, it's a red drop. I'll take that. Yeah, I forgot about the red drum. Uh, Lord. I have got everything but the tarpon. There we go. Come on. Let's get what we need here, guys. We played around long enough. There we go. We got him. Finally. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and mark that this time. <laughs> that way I have it other than event fish. But that's what we're after, guys. Yep, later in the evening, that seems to be the case. They don't get any bigger than this, unless there's some kind of event going on. But let's get some better light here. That is the typical tarpon for this the Everglades in the Salty Delta. All right. 
right. And there it is. Mission accomplished. Everglades trial. 2,000 cash, one bake coin, and a quarter ounce popper, one ot. And I know about this one. We gotta complete this one. We will. Kills me that I didn't get that finished. <laughs> but let me see here. What have we yet to complete? Looks like we did complete more of one of the species that we need to catch which is good we still need to get finish up the butterfly peacock bass snooks taken care of florida gar we need to get gaff top sail catfish actually should should be pretty easy largemouth bass kind of tough but i know where to catch them so if we can't get the kajiri i think i might go that round next episode but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this episode let me go ahead and mark that down here before i forget again there we go where did i get him hold on it's hard to Wait a minute, it's not seeming to show up. Well, that one we can get rid of. There, no, that's not it, that's unique. There it is, okay. He is right straight out. Oh, it's right next to the thing. Okay. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And we will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.